you look at the outside footage of this, looks like it's pretty sweet. You look at the inside, and it looks like you really just have like a super minor uh, turnover to do before you can get that unit rented. Got a nice assortment of sauces right here. Gettlements. For all your cooking needs. Yum yum. Look at that. You even got some carrots. Look, those carrots are they're grease sprouting. Nice little diamond seating for two. For three. For four. This is the stickiest kitchen I've ever been in. Right, like you even got other realtors out there now. They're doing the crap where they're like editing the sky. They're like changing the colors of the sky and doing all this fucking crazy shit. Like, bro. And they're doing it on like dog shit houses some of the time. It's like, dude, like why? Just show people what they're actually buying. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, yo, I got a screamer for you today. All right, 517 Oberlin, Lorraine. 59.9, right? And if you're looking at this thing from the outside, nice, beautiful, blue-looking duplex, man. This thing actually looks pretty legit. And you guys are probably freaking out right now, clamoring uh, to your phones or getting ready to, you know, try to drop off uh, full-priced offers because you're like, yo, why is this thing so cheap, right? And then we cruise on the inside, and it's still looking like, yo, dude, this is pretty underpriced, right? Because we're looking, you know, for duplexes like this, right, in this particular area, dude, you're usually going to be paying for this kind of like a rent roll, right? 1800 in market rent for this sucker. You know, if you're looking like turnkey trying to get one of these things, dude, you're going to be dropping like $120,000, right? Why is this thing priced at half of that, right? That's probably the question that you guys should start to ask yourselves, right? And here on Holden Wise TV, we pride ourselves, right? I'm giving it to you guys straight teaching you guys a little something about the real estate market out here in Ohio and, you know, helping you guys understand what's going on. And we try to give you guys as much information as we possibly can, right? And you look at the outside footage of this, looks like it's pretty sweet. You look at the inside and it looks like you really just have like a super minor uh, turnover to do before you can get that unit rented. Uh, but in fact... There's a little bit more to it than that, and there's a little bit more to it than just what you see, right? Like, you know what really bugs me sometimes? You get a lot of listing agents and realtors out there. You guys know what I'm talking about, dude. They'll take a property, and they'll take, like, 10 photos that, you know, I'm just going to position this property and make it look amazing. But then you actually go and you actually tour the property, and you're like, whoa, dude, this is not like how it felt in the photos, right? And I really never understood why they did that because I'm like, yo, dude, people are going to, like, check up on it. Like, they're not just going to take your word at just, like, a couple of those photos and not do their due diligence. And then they get there, and you just kind of wasted everybody's time, right? Like, you even got other realtors out there now. They're doing the crap where they're, like, editing the sky. They're, like, changing the colors of the sky and doing all this fucking crazy shit like bro and they're doing it on like dog shit houses some of the time it's like dude like why just show people what they're actually buying right and uh to that extent right with this video tour right when my guys are just like cruising around the house you know and you're just like quickly going you don't like zoom in and get to see things uh that like a home inspector would see or that like if you're actually physically there and you're like really narrowing in on stuff uh that you could see and you could tell right because the cost to actually get this particular unit uh, renovated is actually going to be a little bit higher than you'd anticipate because like from afar everything looks pretty decent but in fact we got twenty six thousand four hundred fifty dollars worth of rehab work that we need to do and what i have for me for you rather in my hand here is a line by line bid of the entire thing right i'm sure at some point my guys are going to pop it up on the screen so you guys can kind of read along with me right there's like so many little things in here uh that really add up right like when you go to rent these properties, guys, like after tenants move out, like from afar, from like a whole room perspective, like it wouldn't look like the walls are all that jacked up, right? Like looking on your phone, unless there's like a fucking fist hole in the wall, you guys really wouldn't notice that they're fucked up or nothing, right? But here we have to patch some stuff, fix up nicks. We have to repaint it, things of that nature. And like you see all the flooring and stuff, like from afar, if you're not really looking at it, it looks like it's in pretty halfway decent shape. But if you're actually physically there on site or your inspector's on site or you're looking at it or you're a potential tenant, you'll notice that that floor is actually totally fucked up, right? And we got to fix up that floor. And then just like so many other 
other just like random things like, you know, three prong outlets that need to be replacing two prong outlets, stuff like that. Uh, like some broken windows, some plumbing leaks on the inside, right? Like we have an interior door slab uh, with the hinges that are all jacked up, stuff like that. Like just like random little things, right, that other uh, turnkey companies or real estate companies don't like to uh, explain to you guys, right? We cut it to you straight. Like who's going to be out there in their for sale video telling you, hey, at some point, right, before we put a tenant in here, we need to replace an older gate-style gas valve with a new one-fourth turnstile valve, right? Like, people don't like to give you guys that level of transparency, right? So you guys would be out there seeing properties thinking, oh, dude, I just got to throw a little bit of paint in there, and I'm going to throw a tenant in there. It's going to be great. And the next thing you know, you can't get it rent, and your house is all jacked up, and you're not understanding why, right? Or your inspector goes through and then issues you a 75-page inspection report, and you're totally shocked. You're like, what in the hell is going on? Why didn't anybody tell me about this, right? Well, guess what, folks? We tell you about it here on Holton Wise TV. That's what we do, right? Prior to selling real estate, what we want to do is educate real estate investors, really teach you guys what it's like in the Cleveland market, right? I could have hopped on here and been like, everybody. I could have been like the wholesalers, right? The wholesalers you see on Facebook and, and Craigslist. They're like, they are paying hundred k it's fifty nine nine. It just needs four grand in rehab, and the ARV's one hundred twenty k. Cash offers only, right? How many of those fucking assholes do you see on Craigslist and Facebook? And you kind of look at it like, wait, right? You're selling it for sixty, and the ARV's one twenty. But like, I only got to put four k into it. That doesn't smell right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't do it to you like that here on Holden Weiss TV, folks. We're all about providing you guys transparency, right? So. The price, it's incredibly low. It's an incredibly big opportunity. You can absolutely burr this sucker, right? It's 59.9. It's about half price of what you'd normally be paying for a turnkey duplex like this. But uh, as you can see uh, from the line by line bid, as well as some of the footage, if you're able to make some of it out, uh, there is some work needed, right? About $26,000 in work. If you want, we've also quoted on there an extra 15000 of premium upgrades. If you really want to bang the sucker out, which you don't need to do those $15,000 worth of premium upgrades uh, to get a tenant in there at market rent, we can absolutely rent it at market rent without you doing those. But if you're a Burr investor out there, it's probably a good idea for you to do it, right? Because when you're a Burr investor, which for anybody that doesn't know, Burr, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? You buy it, you renovate it, you put a tenant in there, and then you go to the bank and you try to get them to give you a bunch of your money back, right? When you're doing a refinance, you really want to, to give your lender like a laundry list of repairs and really show them the difference of what your house looks like now versus what it used to look like so you can help justify that massive increase in the ARV, right? Like if you just do the minimal stuff and they saw that you just paid 60 k for it and then you replace some vinyl flooring and you replaced uh, this or that, a couple knickknacks here, you placed a little valve there and then you painted some shit, it's really going to be hard to convince your lender to see that you doubled the value, right? So the premium upgrades might be a good idea for you, right? So even if you did the premium upgrades, right, you're still probably, you know, swinging in here about 20K or so in equity. Uh, if you don't do the premium upgrades, like I said, you only need to spend 26K and you probably should be able to get it, you know, to an ARV at that point, like realistically, I don't see why your lender wouldn't appraise it for at least 90, but you know, Lenders can be a little funky, especially in 2023. Y'all know how <laughs> the lending industry's been going, right? And the rates are all jacked up. Might be a good idea for you uh, to actually buy it, do some renovations, and then wait a little while before you actually do your cash out, right? Here's a cool tip about doing cash out refis and doing bird deals. The farther away that the refinance is from the original purchase – the less likely that original purchase price is going to weigh heavily on the mind of the appraiser, right? So might not be a bad idea to pick it up, uh, do minimal work to it, right? Rent it for a few years and then go back and check things out. Also, too, the interest rates are probably going to be lower at that time. And then one more thing I want to bring to you guys' attention, uh, just in the spirit of transparency, because that's what we're all about here, is if you see this uh, one foundation wall in the basement here, this brick wall, uh, you do see uh, some bowing on this thing, okay? Now, here's the deal. 
I'm going to cut it to you guys as straight as I can, man. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate out here in this market. And I will tell you, I have reviewed thousands and thousands of inspection reports during my career. And I guarantee you, every single inspector, every general home inspector that you could possibly hire here in Northeast Ohio is going to tell you forbatim the exact same thing. They will say, oh, Wall appears to be Boeing, recommend you talk to a structural engineer. That's what they're going to say. They all say it. They're going to say the exact same thing. Let me just cut, cut the bullshit. You have a Boeing wall, okay? Is this house going to collapse and fall apart? No, that's, it doesn't work that way. Is that uh, correct? Is that supposed to be Boeing like that? No, you don't need to get a structural engineer to tell you that. I'm fucking telling you right now. No, it's not supposed to be Boeing, folks. No structural engineer is going to come in here, see the Boeing one, and be like, yeah, dude, that's cool. Fuck it. That's not how it works, right? It's not supposed to be Boeing. Is it an immediate uh, risk of collapsing? No. Is it a danger? No, probably not. That wall has probably been bowed like that for like 60 years. It's a 100-year-old house. Uh, if... You were to go ahead and 100% fix it. If you felt like you needed to fix it, make it 100% proper. The method in which you would do that would be uh, you would dig out on the outside and you would completely redo the wall, right? Uh, doing that would cost you roughly $200 a foot. Uh, another route you could take that some people do take is they support it with like steel beams. Like you dig big steel beams into the basement floor and like the wall kind of like bows, but like the steel beams, you know, they catch it. So the wall's like putting pressure, but you got all these beams and they're dug deep into the, below the foundation of your house, right? That's another way to do it. Something like that would probably run you like six to $8,000. Uh, probably with where it's standing though, I would say you probably really don't need to address it right now. I don't foresee it doing any moving. It's probably been like that for the longest time. So it doesn't really pose an immediate danger. The only thing I will tell you is when you go uh, to do a refinance on this, when you go to get that lender involved, you may have some issues uh, in underwriting in regards to the wall. It's probably going to be 50-50 on that. Sometimes lenders will take issue with it. Sometimes they won't. It's really going to depend on how close of attention the appraiser is paying when he's inside that house. And uh, to be honest with you guys, that's kind of a fucking coin flip too, right? Like I've literally uh, done deals uh, – where I've had, like I did this one deal, it was a duplex in old Brooklyn, and I s went to sell it, and buyer put in her contract with their lender, and, uh, you know, we did the inspection, we did the appraisal, and then, like, at the last minute or whatever, the buyer flaked, he couldn't come up with the money, okay? So then I ended up selling it again to a different buyer, different lender, like, two weeks later, and then that person also had... Uh, an appraisal done and the two appraisals came in at like a forty thousand dollar difference like one appraisal was like 70 and then the other was 110 same fucking property over the course of two weeks right uh so there's going to be a lot of human error involved in this business right it's an imperfect industry right uh so with that said my opinion as someone who's done 200 million dollars worth of real estate in this area and who's way the fuck more qualified than both of those two appraisers <laughs> that i'm talking about uh I don't think your house is, is going to pose a serious danger with that wall. Is that wall 100% correct? No. Uh, is that wall going to give you issues? Really, the only issues it will probably give you, again, uh, is at the appraisal with a lender when you're doing a refinance, and I think that is going to be a coin flip on whether or not they want you to address it. And then down the road, if you did want to address it, the two ways you do it would be, again, those steel beams, or you could 100% do it the right and correct way, which would be $200 a square foot. But that's neither here nor there because I don't think it needs addressed right now. But I don't want anybody to come away from this video not understanding where that price of 59.9 came from, right? It is a fair and legitimate price to create a win-win for both the seller of the property and you as the buyer. Uh, nobody on either side of the aisle is really getting screwed on this. It's just going to be 
pretty much a solid deal where I think it's kind of fair and even for both parties. So it does create quite a good opportunity for you as buyers. And me, my job is to make sure you're not getting taken advantage of. And for everybody else who's watching this video, who's not going to end up buying this particular property, I'm hoping you at least learned a little something about real estate here today. For those of you who do want to buy the property, send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you're paying cash, which for all the reasons I just mentioned, it's probably the best case scenario. Uh, it's probably going to get you the best chance of actually getting to take the property down because it's priced pretty freaking sweet. Uh, even though I just went over all the things that are wrong with it, it's still a good deal if you do the numbers correctly. So I'm probably going to get a lot of offers on it. So you're probably going to need to pay cash if you do want to buy it. So proof of funds, how much you want to offer, email that to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to utilize the lender and I don't end up selling it to a cash buyer, not saying the answer is going to be no. It may work for you. Just send me your pre-approval letter as well as how much you want to offer. And again, send it to sales at holtonwise.com. Let's go. Oh my god, dude, so my AC in my car, like, doesn't work for shit. Really? So, like, the whole drive over here, like, I was fucking sweating my ass off. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, then we get out here, and, like, now it's fucking chilly, so. Yep. You guys want to do the basement first and just walk around back? We got to do the yeah. exterior do first, it. right? Yeah. yeah, we can. Got a nice assortment of sauces right here. Gentlemen. For all your cooking needs, yum yum. Look at that, you even got some carrots. Look, those carrots are, they're grease sprouting. Nice little dining seating for two, or three, or four. <laughs> this is the stickiest kitchen I've ever been in. That was fucking weird, dude. Take two? Yep. Cut. <laughs> I thought you were talking about something going on over here in the corner. I was like, oh, nice. what's going on? I was just spazzing out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.